Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials, and today I want to talk to you guys about two functions in Maya called duplicate and duplicate special. Now, it's not really fancy, but it's used a lot, and it can be complicated, especially with a duplicate special. So, I just want to go through that quickly today. Okay. So, in order to demonstrate that, I need to start off by creating a simple object. So, I'm just going to go into my polygons menu and I'm going to select the uh, a little cylinder here. I'm just going to pull that out and hit 5 for shaded mode. Okay. Now, let's say we want to duplicate this. Okay. Now, first you need to select it, right? Otherwise, the system doesn't know what to duplicate. Then you go to Edit. You go down to, uh, where is it? Duplicate here. And you're done. So your question probably is, okay, so where is my second cylinder? Okay, it copied itself inside itself. Because if I hit W and move that out, you can see there are now two of them, right? So what it does is it copies the object inside the object until you tell it to do otherwise, right? So we're just going to delete that. Now, let's say I don't want to go up and click on Edit and Duplicate and so on. There's a short key, which is Control, hold down Control and hit the D key. So, Control D. You can see immediately that the green lines changed a bit. And again, I can now pull it out and I got a duplicate. I can now delete that. Okay, now that was the easy one. That's your regular duplicate. But what about Duplicate Special? I'm going to select my object again. And I'm going to go up to Edit duplicate special and I'm going to hit my option box right we're going to start off by clicking on edit reset settings so we're kind of in the factory settings if you want to call it that and we can do a couple of things here first of all the copy and the parent I'm going to leave them as is right now we get a couple of options here this column here is the x-axis the y-axis and the z-axis right we can do a couple of things with a copy when we make one, which is, for example, I want to copy this, and I don't want to copy it inside itself. I want to make a copy, and I want it next to this one, for example. So I'm going to tell the system, okay, make a copy and translate it by four positions on X, right? So if I hit Duplicate Special, it makes a copy four positions over. Right? And the positions are measured based on the central pivot. In this case, it's in the middle of the cylinder. So I'm going to hit Control z to undo that. I'm going to go back to Edit, Duplicate Special, Option Box. Now, obviously, if you translate over a different axis, in this case, it moved over four positions. If you want to move it over Y or Z, you change these values, and it's pretty much the same system. Okay. Now, what you can also do is you can tell the system to duplicate this and at the same time rotate it. Now let's say we're going to rotate this by 45 degrees in the x-axis. We're not telling it to translate, so it's going to copy this object in itself, so in the same position, but then at an angle, right? And I'm going to show you that. Okay, and there we go. It copied it, but it tilted it at 45 degrees. Control z to undo that. I'm going to go back, edit, duplicate special, option box, and again the same thing, X, Y, and Z. If you want to tilt it in Y or in Z, you change this value or that value. And be aware, you can also uh, input a negative value. So you could say, I want to rotate this, this by negative 45 degrees. It was positioned like that just now. We're going to try that again. And now it's the other way around. Okay? And you can do the same with translate. We translated this by four positions this way. Minus four positions would move it that way. Okay. Control Z to go back. Edit, duplicate special option box. Okay. We're going to get back to our zero position here. Okay. Now, skill. That's pretty cool. Let's say I want to copy this object but I want the copy to have different dimensions in X, Y, and Z. Now, a scale of one is normal. If I copy this at a scale of one, my copy will be the same size. If I tell the system I want everything to be in a scale of two, 
it's going to increase the size. Now, I don't want the copy to be inside of this one because you won't see that one anymore. So I'm going to put a translate value in here of, let's say, I don't know, 8. And we should expect to get a copy of this one two times bigger and eight positions over. Okay, here we go. And there we go. Copied it and made it bigger. Now, the neat thing is, Control z to go back, edit, duplicate special and option box you don't have to change all the values you can only change for example we'll leave this scale at one we'll leave that scale at one and I want that one to duplicate by two okay here we go so what you see is only in this axis is it duplicated by two the height is the same this side this uh, thickness is the same it only changed that one and control Z to go back okay edit Duplicate special option box. Just going to quickly reset that. Okay. Now, the number of copies. That can be very important, and I'll tell you why. I'm going to demonstrate that. I'm going to hit E. Actually, not here. Just get out of this for a second. Okay. I'm going to hit E, and I'm going to rotate that over. Right? Like so. Just going to check in my attribute editor that I'm at exactly, where is it, here, at 90 degrees, so it's nice and flat. Okay. Now, let's say I want to copy this, right, and I want to rotate my copies. So let's say I want to take this and copy one there and there and there and there, like in a circle, right? What I need to be aware of is that the focal point is the central pivot point. That's where the calculation starts. Now, my central pivot point right now is exactly in the middle. So if I start to copy this and rotate it, it won't get me, for example, a spoked wheel if I'm looking for that, right? So what I need to do is I need to move that central pivot point. So I'm going to go to my top view, like that. And I'm going to hold down the insert key. And as you can see, the, uh, if I release it, there you go. If I push down the insert key, you see that this can now be manipulated. So I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to put it, let's say, here, outside of the object. So that is now my central point for duplication. So when I start to duplicate, it's going to duplicate around this point, And that should give us this figure in a circle. Right? Just going to release that. There we go. We're going to go back to our edit, duplicate special, hit the option box. Now, I know that I want to make a circle because I'm going to create spokes, right? So it has to be 360 degrees. Now, if I want each one to rotate, uh, actually, this value, to rotate 30 degrees, right? then I need an additional 11 copies because this plus 11 copies is 12 times 30 degrees is 360 degrees. Okay, let's give this a try. Okay. And as you can see, because the central pivot point is in the middle, it copied it around like that. And you can now just, for example, uh, take something like that, pull that out, rotate it, and you could, you know, start to create a wheel. You know what I mean, right? Okay, there we go. So, that is pretty much how you work with Duplicate and Duplicate Special. If you got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments section. Thank you for watching, as always, and see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.